The WA Wildlife Hospital is a purpose-built facility located in the heart of the Belia wetlands in the city of Coburn. The hospital admits in excess of 6,000 sick, injured and orphan animals each year, with each animal receiving veterinary care from veterinary professionals trained to care for wildlife specifically. However, every year in Western Australia, thousands of wildlife miss out on life-saving veterinary treatment, either because the clinics are too overwhelmed with their patient workloads, or simply don't have the training in wildlife medicine. And that is what inspired the WA Wildlife Training for Veterinary Professionals program. I'm Dr Meg Rogers, I'm the Senior Veterinarian at the WA Wildlife Hospital, and we're very excited to announce the launch of our new WA Wildlife Training for Veterinary Professionals program. This program, the first of its kind in WA, aims to upskill veterinary professionals and build capacity within an industry already very stretched for resources. Veterinary professionals want to help wildlife, but they receive minimal training in wildlife medicine as part of their studies. Hello, my name is Eloise Haskin and I'm the Marine Species Program Manager from WWF Australia. WWF Australia has supported the WA Wildlife Training for Veterinary Professionals because veterinary professionals are those that are on the forefront of climate change and the disasters that they cause. So in 2019 and 2020 we saw how the bushfires affected wildlife and wildlife habitat all around Australia and again this year we've seen how the floods have been able to impact uh, wildlife as well. This program aims to improve wildlife outcomes and conservation outcomes in Western Australia and Australia by reducing those gaps and helping to upskill veterinary professionals in Western Australia who may be dealing with injured wildlife with less access to actual wildlife hospitals. We are launching two invaluable resources now available for veterinary professionals. Whilst these resources are designed for veterinary professionals working in Western Australia, they are open to professionals both nationally and internationally. The Wildlife Medicine for Veterinary Professionals Handbook is a quick reference guide on identification, species overviews, treatment plans and diagnostics. GP veterinarians can use this handbook to treat wildlife cases efficiently and effectively. The second resource is our online e-learning modules. These are designed for busy time for professionals that want to upskill. All different species have very different requirements when it comes to adequately treating them. So ensuring that they can get up-to-date training as it becomes available is really, really important for improving wildlife outcomes and overall conservation um, outcomes as well. Both the handbook and the training modules were developed by wildlife veterinarians with peer reviews performed by other wildlife professionals in the industry. The WA Wildlife Training for Veterinary Professionals is now live and available to all veterinary professionals across Australia via our website. We hope that these resources will have a lasting impact on wildlife for many years to come and would like to thank WWF Australia. Without their support, this project would not have been possible. Only by working together as wildlife rehabilitators and veterinarians can we conserve our precious wildlife and continue to help wildlife live.